hello everyone and welcome to um, a video I'm sorry I have been um, gone for so long but uh, what I've been doing in that time is I've been playing Genshin Impact which is this lovely game right here and today I um, just figured I would tell you guys my daily routine for getting promo gems which is basically what I do when I log into the game I do this stuff and then it um, it gives me promo gems that I can then save up um, to do a ten pull, and I will have enough for a ten pull, so I might actually do one of those. Yeah! And I will post uh, other videos, uh, probably of Genshin in the future, yeah! and uh, definitely of um, some Overwatch because Overwatch Two is coming soon. Yay! Uh, yeah, and m maybe even some Pokemon with Scarlet and Violet come out. So yeah, this is sort of like a guide for what to do before you start doing whatever you want to do. So, let's start with step one. Let's see, where are they? Ah uh, yes, daily commissions. These purple quest markers are daily commissions. They, they are quick little quests that you do quick, like defeating a couple enemies, or doing whatever this is. And they change with every region they are in. And basically you want to do them, they award you 10 Primo Gems, and then you can get another 20 when talking to the Adventurers Guild in any city. And that will give you a then reward for that, which is another 20 Primo Gems. Which will give you 60 Primo Gems for like 10 minutes of work. You go back in here and dispatch character on an expedition. Basically, you just say this character does this for. I always do the 20 hour one because it's the best one. And it just gives you a bunch of mora, uh, which you need, and materials to build with. Uh, to, not build with, to um, forge weapons with. Which is probably something else I might touch on in the future. And then you also get can get that for mining 10 items. Then, the next part of my routine is I go all the way over down to here. To the Asasa Shrine to meet with Nico or Neko. I don't really know what his or her name is.
really it um that's my daily routine um if you want to do more i'd say weekly bosses if you want to um i don't do all of them always i always do storm terror because storm terror i can it's very easy to get billets from it um but yeah that's it for my daily routine after that you can do whatever you want if you do want to farm for Primo Gems, I would recommend doing Archon Quests, I'd say. And this one I have not done. Not Archon Quests. Don't do Archon Quests if you want to do it. It's just a bunch of story quests that you have to do. What you want to do is story quests, like these ones. World Quests, because they give you Primo Gems. Especially World Quests. Chains, these ones. They give you a lot of Primo Gems, and they unlock new areas. And then, Explore. Explore new areas of the map. Preferably ones with the lowest progress possible, like this one, or this one, for me. And that will give you open chests to complete mini challenges, and they will give you a bunch of primo gems. And just to finish it off with a little f uh, never mind. Never mind, I will not be doing a ten part on camera. And, um, just so you know, that exploration thing, I just went around opening chests and doing challenges for, like, a week and a half, two weeks, maybe. And I got to, like, 5,000 Primo Gems, uh, doing, like, an hour a day, two hours, oh yeah, like, an hour, hour and a half a day. And, uh, then I, so I could get Zhongli. But we all know how well that went. Don't we, D-Luke? Don't we?